Hi, so this week we're doing party nails. There are so many party nail looks out at the moment. You know, nail art and nail effects have become so mainstream now. So I just want to show you quickly how to do some of them. They're so much easier than you think. The thing I really, really believe about party nails is they should be easy to do yourself. There's no point spending 30 quid or something on a manicure that's just going to last one night. Your nails are going to be in a state at the end of a good party anyway, so you might as well go for something cheap and temporary and easy. Nail foils are incredibly easy, they're ideal for parties. Everyone does them now, Maybelline, L'Oreal, Paris, you can get them in boots for, you know, a few quid. These are really good nailies, you don't need heat, you don't need glue, nothing like that. They're simply stickers that file off at the end. There are so many different designs to choose from, but um, I've gone for black and white here to go with my black and white dress, um, which are these by Maybelline. As you can see, they come in lots of different sizes and you want to go for a size that is roughly the width of the nail you're working on, obviously. So I'm going to do my index finger. So that looks about right. And you gently peel off the foil. And you do get a little bit of playtime with these foils in that it does let you reposition a little bit. Then, with a steady hand as you can muster, stick the base down, go to the tip of your nail and press down any bubbles or creases. When you get to the end of your nail, you want to fold down the bottom of the foil. So it's sort of at a 90 degree angle to your finger. Then we need to get rid of this overhang. You take bog standard nail file and filing across instead of sawing like you would your nail best to use the coarse side, it just takes a lot less time. It won't file away your nails, it'll just file away the foil and then you can simply peel the excess foil off. Keep filing to finish off any straggling bits and there you have a perfectly covered finger. You don't need to be a steady hand, it's the simplest thing in the world, yet your lines on your nails are absolutely perfect, no smudges, no spilling, no mistakes. The sort of neatness of it is something you simply can't replicate and for a couple of quid I think they're a bargain. The next effect I wanted to show you was um, animal print nails. Anyone who's a regular viewer of my videos will know that I'm completely obsessed with animal print. I'm so chuffed that you can now have animal print nails and they're so, so easy. Lots of people have done these kits, Christian Dior, Bourgeois, quite a few different brands have done them. This happens to be the one I'm wearing in this week's photograph so I'll show you that. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. So you have these dinky little bottles, in this case a sort of charcoal grey and a gold, and you layer one on top of the other. The light colour nearly always goes on the bottom, I mean check your instructions but as a rule the light one will go underneath. I just have a base coat on my nail as I would with any polish. Give it a good shake. Take your brush, when I do polish I never go to the edges. I sort of paint a fake nail shape onto my real nail. Don't try and follow the line of your real nail too closely, because that's when you get into trouble. Okay, so my gold is dry and we're now ready to put the crackle coat on the top. So you take your dark colour, shake it up, and you can really be slapdash here, and you just paint it, not that carefully, over the gold, but trying to keep in the lines and you have to move quite quickly, you don't have a lot of playtime here and straight away you can see it start to crackle into a sort of alligator sort of skin. It really is incredibly easy and straightforward, you really don't have to be much of a steady hand, you don't have to be that good at nails. That's the brilliance of it in that the effect looks really difficult and sophisticated but it really is the most simple thing. So the one party nail effect um, that we're really familiar with is glitter, except glitter's really come on a lot. There are two ways to apply glitter nowadays. Um, the first way is with actual glitter polish, and this has been around for years, but nowadays it's much, much more dense, more opaque. It used to be kind of little tiny bits of glitter suspended in clear polish, but now when you paint on a really good quality glitter polish, all you'll get is glitter and no nail showing through. These are by Butter London, they're fantastic, but also Boots Number no. 7 do really great glitter polish, as do um, nail zinc and lots of other brands, Barry M. 
The other way you can apply glitter is with one of the new sequin manicures. This one by Seattle is great, but lots of brands are doing them. Now, instead of putting glitter within the polish itself, these are a two-phase system. There is um, a base coat, which is sort of like a glue. It's tackier than normal um, nail polish. You paint that on, then you take a brush or your fingers and you daub on little tiny sequins and you get a really, really dense, thick, opaque effect like you see here on the box. That it um, lasts pretty well, it will shed a little bit throughout the evening, but you should still be intact at the end. And that's a really, really strong effect. Nail art is such a big thing now, but if you still can't get your head around it, it still doesn't appeal to you. And believe me, I understand the reticence. It's taken me a long time to um, like it on myself. Then don't worry about it. I still think that the best party nail look of all time is red. A really nice tomato red looks better than anything. Um, these two, uh, my current favourites. This is YSL's Rouge Express and East and um, Dior's new for Christmas Monroe based on Marilyn Monroe's nails. But I also adore the reds of Revlon, Revlon Red, Cherries in the Snow, those sorts of colours. And Rimmel do great reds too. And they're still the most perfect party look.